Hi guys, welcome back. I got some great tips for you when you're playing outside, you're putting, and there's a lot of wind outside. I'm going to make a few adjustments to my setup and my stroke to feel a lot more confident. So the first thing, a lot of times I'll see players that have a fairly narrow setup, so their feet are fairly close together. That's completely fine. I can putt with my feet really close together or really far apart. It's all personal preference when there's no wind outside. But if I have a really narrow setup, my feet are close together, as I get a gust of wind, maybe a 20 mile an hour gust, all of a sudden I'm getting blown offline. I'm feeling like I'm losing my balance. So I want to go ahead and widen my stance. I recommend a couple inches, a few inches wider than shoulder width apart. So I'm really wide with this stance. I'm going to get a little bit of extra knee bend and I feel so much more stable. If a 20 mile an hour wind gust hit me right now, I'd be completely fine. Also, normally I, I grip my putter all the way at the end of the grip with my normal stroke. I like to grip up two or three inches when it's really windy outside just because I feel like I have more control of the putter head. My hands are closer to the head. If a wind gust does happen to hit my putter head, it's really just not going to have as much effect on it if I'm gripping up on the, the grip a little bit. I just have a little bit more control. So that's a bit more of a mental thing. When you set up that way, you just feel like you're so much more in control. Now if I'm putting outside of 10 feet, so if I'm inside of 10 feet, I'm not going to play any difference in the break for the wind. If it's crosswind, into the wind, nothing that, any of that that happens, I'm just going to play the normal amount of break. As I start to get out here 10 feet or farther away from the hole, now I'm going to play a little bit of break for the wind. If I have a crosswind going in either direction, I'm going to play slightly for a little bit more break. So let's say this normal putt, if I play it dead center, it's going to break maybe an inch to the left. If I have a 10 or 15 mile an hour crosswind, I may not play for it to break hardly at all. I'm going to play it dead center in the hole. I know that wind is going to hold it up. Same thing in the opposite direction. I'm going to play a little bit extra break. That's only if you're more than 10 feet away and only if you have more than 10 miles an hour wind. That wind's got to really be blowing for it to affect the, the golf ball. Now if I'm into the wind or downwind, I'm not going to play any different. So when we set up over top of this ball and we have a 20 mile an hour wind in our face, we're used to hitting iron shots that get up in the wind and that 20 mile an hour wind coming right back at it just beats that shot up and makes it fall straight down and we lose a ton of distance. So subconsciously, we kind of have that ingrained in our brain that if I have wind in my face, a really strong wind, I've got to really hammer this thing and hit it hard. With a putt, it's not going to play that much difference. It'll maybe affect it two or three inches, but since we're already rolling it past the hole every time, we're not going to need to really play any account for that. Same thing with a downwind putt. Unless you're downhill downwind, I wouldn't play any difference there at all. So let's go over this again. I'm going to widen up my stance two or three inches wider than shoulder width apart. I'm going to bend my knees so I feel really nice and stable. If a gust hit me, I'd be fine. I'm gripping up on the putter two or three inches. And then from there, if it's crosswind, I'll play a little bit of difference in the break. If it's into wind or downwind, I'm just going to go ahead and play my normal stroke. There we go, guys. Get that good stance, that good setup, and you're going to drain putts no matter how much wind there is. Hi right, guys, so I hope y'all really enjoyed this video. If you did, I got a fantastic bonus for you. Now one of the things that we have to be able to do if we want to make tons and tons of putts is fully ingrain our putting stroke. And I've got a putting series that's going to help you to do that. I'm going to play a preview of one of the videos from this series. If you want to click and watch the entire video, get instant access to it, all you need to do is click on the screen. If you're on a desktop computer, if you're on your mobile phone or a tablet, you're going to need to click the i card and you'll be able to watch that entire video right now and start making some more putts and taking a little bit of money off your friends. So good luck to you guys. I'll see you all in the putting video. Hi guys and welcome to the Top Speed Golf putting system. In this video, we're gonna talk about the stroke itself. So that's right, so one of the first fundamentals I think to have a really good consistent stroke is we have to set up to the ball in the same way every time. And what I like to do is I like to have my eyes directly over top of the ball over top of the target line and I have a great little putting mirror here made by eyeline that I use a lot to, to help me get lined up and it's simply got a black line going down the center so when I'm looking down I want to see my eyes directly on this black line and I want my lead eye almost on the back of the ball all the way down the shaft to be in one straight line so if you're looking at this as I set up if you look, draw a line up from the shaft, that should be splitting my forearms and they're going to be lined up with that shaft. And what that's going to allow me to do is take a lot of wrist out of the stroke.